When you have lists of a couple things in Bubble, oftentimes you want to perform certain operations on those, whether it's removing a few items from a list, removing duplicates, adding things together, or just looking at what exactly is you know, common between these two lists. Well, in this video, we're going to dive into two of the main list operators, merge with and intersect with. And we are also going to look at a few bonus ones of adding and subtracting single items from lists. Let's take a look at what it is we're going to cover in this video. So we're going to start out by taking a peek over at the bubble manual, then this example that was up on the screen in the intro, and then we're going to see it in action with the blue dynamic expressions over in bubble so that you can match up um, what you're seeing in your bubble editor with what is being shown on the screen here. So let's kick it off with jumping into the bubble manual. Um, there's a number of different things for op list operations that can occur here. And, um, but the ones that we're interested in is merged with and intersect with. And we're gonna also look at minusing uh, individual items and lists and then plusing or adding uh, individual items. And we're gonna see that in action now. So let's turn our attention to the example here that we'll look at. And this is, we have, these are our lists, basically a list is um, each of these four items here, in this case, they're images with tags. Uh, so the tags is the actual list. Um, and then we're going to see this, the corresponding stuff over in bubble. So let's start with merged with, shall we? Um, if we were to merge together this list of list one and list two, this image two, well, because we know that it reduces duplicates, we already have tag two and tag three. So let's just kind of overwrite those. And the final result of merged with would be one through four. Now, if we also merged uh, these three lists together, one, two, and three, then we would see the result uh, going from one through five. And obviously doing that with this one would re result that as the same. So that would be merged with. It's a pretty simple example. And honestly, this uh, video is really for the folks who uh, just wanted to get a little bit of visual, you know, like you're, you could probably get an idea just from reading this statement here that that's what it does. But, you know, here's a visual. So visual, visual, visual. So it's locked in uh, and it's just really easy to see. So you can be off and running over in your bubble project here. Uh, now let's look at intersect with. And if we were to intersect with on these lists, basically it's the stuff that is in common with both lists. So here we could see it, it, it'd just be two and three. So if we did an intersect with operation, basically we just end up with two or three and you know, that's it, that's the intersect. Now, if we intersected these lists, the only one in common is tag three. So what's left with is after the intersect operation is done, is just this item from these three lists. So whatever your lists are in your world, uh, if, if that's the particular thing you're looking to have happen, how do I isolate the item that's the same on all the lists? Well, you'll do intersect with, and actually in this case, it would be you take this list and then you do intersect with this list, intersect with this list, and we'll see that blue expression uh, as our part three here as we were just about done with this example um, in, in a moment. Uh, so the last part of this example then is if we were to intersect all of these, we can see that there's nothing in common between list one and list four or image one and image four. So the resulting list of intersecting all of these together, uh, whether you took all of these or you chose just took one and four, um, it would be an empty list. So just blank list. Okay, so let's go see all this in action now over in Bubble. Um, I'm gonna show you how I have it set up on the page here just for the data. And, you know, I'll be meticulous about showing this because as we all know, if you're having issues in bubble, it's usually because of the tiny details of, you know, how exactly are they set up? How are they working together? And what is going on? Well, here it is. So I have four custom states, list one, list two, list three, list four. These are basically these image one, image two, image three, image four. They're just labeled slightly different, but they contain stuff. They're being set when the page is loaded. So that's just for any newbies out there. Uh, that is just this general, when the page is loaded, it's gonna, do, it's gonna set the values of those. And to set the values of those, a quick tip for anyone who is building list and it doesn't know this uh, particular tip, when you're starting a blue expression and you want to plus an item to it, you wanna plus a one single item, you need something to plus onto. Um, and so in this case, we're taking this tag test 
list one. So we're taking the empty list and then we're plussing onto it, if that's the right way to say it. Um, we're plussing onto it this arbitrary text of item one, then we're plussing onto it item two, plussing onto it item number three, and that is how all of these are built. So this one is getting two, three, and four, and then four, five, and six, and then five, or sorry, three, four, and five, and then four, five, and six. And I did skip this one just looking at the details, but the thing that I'll show here is that we actually have some text that's showing here's this state variable one, which is list one, state variable two, which is list two, list three, list four, so that we can then verify here on the front end, one, two, and three, two, three, and four, three, four, and five, four, five, and six, which correspond to each of these. So cool. Um, I mean, I, I imagine with all of this visual stuff, this is hopefully sinking in to be pretty clear of like what the setup is here, how it compares to what you're aiming to do in your world. And hopefully it's just spurring on some good creative ideas so that you can solve whatever problem it is that you came here to solve. Um, but now let's dive into the operators themselves. So I'm actually going to, to delete this um, one and then we'll build it from scratch. So we're going to use this merge with, and we're going to take this list one and we're going to use merged with and then list two. So pretty simple, nothing too fancy. And just like in our example here, if we merge these two together, we expect a list of one, two, three, four. And of course, that's what we get here based on this uh, thing here. Next up, so just pay attention here to what's in the stuff in blue. So there's one merged with and it's list one and two. Now there are two merged with between these these uh, three items. So in between each list one, merge with list two, merge with list three. Uh, and then obviously, just like here, we would see it go from one to five, which is confirmed in the front end here. And I'll also just mention, if you're ever you know playing around with some stuff, this is a great way to do some testing to get the results you want, because you might be trying to build a list that I'm just not showing here, because there are you know hundreds or dozens or probably hundreds um, of different ways to configure exactly different things, um, perhaps. So, you know, go ahead and uh, take what's here as a uh, foundational or a springboard to jump off of, and uh, this is a pretty good way to you know confirm that what you're trying to build and what you're letting you to get actually is that. So here it's just extended one more with another merge with with list four, and then we see it going all from all the way from one to six. Okay, so that's that. So that's merge with. Next, let's take a look at intersect with. So um, basically we already saw building this from scratch. We don't need to see that. But so this intersect with, we, we had a merged with on there before with one and two. All we're doing is just choosing the intersect with option for intersect one and two. Now, so the question is, what is in list one and two that is the same? Well, it's item number two is in both of those. Item number three is in both of those. Item number four is not in both. Item number one is not in both. So this intersect with value leaves us with those. So thanks for bearing the detailed explanation, but you know, just for anyone, especially who is new to the world of bubble, um, and maybe this is the first time you're seeing these operators, hopefully this is something that is uh, landing in terms of what, what is, what's going on here? What, what, uh, what's getting done in the back end? Okay. So we're going to take that one step further now, actually two step further, but one step where there's actually a result. So list one intersect with list two intersect with list three. And so this is where, you know, we actually need to run a couple of these intersects and we can see that item number three is the only item that appears in all three lists here. And it shows up here. Next, uh, just like in our example, we'll see this confirmed here where we take intersect one, two, three, and four with the intersect in between all of them. And uh, there's nothing that is in common on all of these that is the same on all of them. And that's why we get this empty list of zero. So uh, that's it for merged and intersect. Um, congratulations to making it to this point. If you want to see the additional stuff, let's take a look at how we uh, take items off of lists. So here we have this big list. So let's just take an item off of it. And what I'll do is I'll do minus, I'll do minus an item and then I'll do minus a list. So to get a just one item, I'm just going to take this uh, first item, which is 
you know, this first item in list one is item one. So we'll see this list down here. We see it remove item one and it removed it based on this expression from after this colon. So this colon minus item took that off. Now let's look at uh, minus a list and we're not going to take off the first item. We'll actually take off. We need this in order for this expression to turn blue. We need it to be a whole list. So minus a list, which is list one. So now instead of just minusing item one, we should see it to take off one, two, and three because it's subtracting this list off the you know stuff that it made before. So that's minusing a single item, minusing a list. Now let's just see adding a single item. And we're going to add a single item to this list. So this is item number three. Let's just add item number one to it. And we can directly target item, item number one by, so first, the thing that we're going to use here, uh, let's see if we can grab it, is plus item. So this plus item, we're going to, the item that we're going to plus is a tag test list one first item. So we've targeted that item now. And hopefully even in some of this stuff, maybe you've picked up some things, especially for folks pretty new to the world of bubble, um, seeing these blue expressions can be built. Uh, go ahead and give it a try yourself. It's uh, it's kind of, to be honest, it feels a little bit like magic once you first start to understand and get this because this is what is this uh, stuff that we're doing here with these blue expressions is really what is replacing coding. We're you know, giving instructions based upon this is kind of the sort of coding. It's more the programming language. It's not really, yeah, that's the way to say it. It's not coding. It's the programming language of bubble basically is these blue expressions. So, and that's probably the more, one of the more challenging parts of getting up and running with bubble. Uh, but okay. So we see this intersect list one, two, and three, and uh, we hit that resulted in this item three, but then we just added this item one to it with this stuff, this plus item. Uh, so that's it. That's that's uh, how you can start to manipulate some lists. This is a pretty big topic. There's a lot more that can be done on here. Um, if you like this type of content, if you find it helpful, please let me know in the comments. I'm happy to take feedback in terms of how, uh, what guides the direction of the content that you get to see here on the channel. So um, if you did uh, make it this far, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you can be so kind as to give a like to the video, it helps me out, lets other people know about the videos, and uh, subscribe to the channel for more great tips if you want to get those, and thanks so much for watching.